theme song still remains the same. The plot itself has hardly changed. Return of the Killer Tomatoes is a 1988 comedy directed by John DeBello and starring Anthony Stark, Karen M. Waldron, George Clooney, Steve Lundquist, J. Stephen Pierce, and John Astin. The film opens with a Tea Time movie ripoff. Wow! And all you have to do to win is know our secret word when I call. It's a common household word, one used all the time. Fuck? This looks like a goddamn beer commercial. They switch to the correct movie and we're in a lab with John Aston. Are they dipping that tomato in urine? I guess that too makes you buff. Previously on Killer Tomatoes, it's pizza time and Chad gets a boner, stammers, and leaves. George Clooney! That sucks. You will never know what it is to love or be loved. Emotions are for people, not vegetables. Oh, she's actually a side at a buffet. Igor! Come! Funny. He doesn't look Igorish. Mutant! No telling how it could affect the transformation process. Let's get rid of it! Okay. Let's get rid of this hairy tomato thing that may have been designed to sell toys to kids like the Ewoks were. The Clooney mullet will be in full effect in this film. That night, Tara goes dumpster diving. Don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. I don't mind it's your fuzzy tomato. Fuzzy tomato. Have tea. Fucking tomato? Chad Finletter, Zen master of the fine art of pizza building, will attempt the ultimate pizza. Marshmallow. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Do you want to make love? I guess your line of bullshit worked. The next day, they're at Chad and George Clooney's place. It was one from a claw machine. So she's a little organic. Or she's building a bomb. The teleprompter's cute, and the camera's white balanced. Oh, what? Look, it's a character from the first movie that looks nothing like the original actor. Here's a falling in love montage. Look, an adult superstore. I just had to get you out of there. But well, why? Sex is good. Sex is normal. Yeah, but whips and handcuffs are kinky. Kinky? What's kinky? Stampeding cattle through the Vatican. The black market. Oh, don't you have any red meat? I don't eat vegetables. How about a chili dog? What's wrong with a chili dog? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No. Holy shit! The place freaks and she's back. Aren't you guys gonna eat? But there's chili dogs! Stuff, you know, generic, it's not gonna cut it. So, uh, I say product placement. It'll work. I think you should trust me on this. Clooney gets it. That's a car phone in a garbage truck. Now we follow you. There's fun with toxic waste and they follow Igor back to the lab. Hey, hey, you left the door open. Chad peeps and oh my god, it's a guy from Contra. Where did you learn to do this stuff? Tara leaves and is kidnapped. They find fucking Tomato and head to the lab where they sneak in and date the shit out of this movie. Uh -huh. 
busted. They're over. <laughs> you murderer! Igor, show them to the, uh, guest room. We don't have a guest room, sir. All we've got is a dungeon. Guest room is a euphemism for dungeon, chowderhead. That's a basement. Fucking Tomato delivers a message to Wilbur, and he assembles his team from the first movie. Except Mason Dixon for some reason. Then Dr. Gangrene monologues. She is my creation. I made her for my needs, and it's my needs that she serves. Ha ha ha! Ugh. In just ten minutes, you'll be a tomato. <laughs> Why not do it now? Fuck it. They get saved and wind up at the prison facing off against these dudes who develop with guns, I guess. Tara is caught in the gas chamber when a grenade hits the floor. That fucking tomato's a hero! She's dead, Jim. Why didn't anyone hit that sooner? Oh, nope, she's alive. I don't understand. How could you have survived? You forget I'm not human. Convenient! Oh, You're supposed to be a tomato. What happened? Sounds! I should have known it. Once you've been gassed, you'll never be a real tomato again. Now Chad won't be arrested for fucking a vegetable. Bullshit. There's a rally and they lived happily ever after. Especially George Clooney. Return of the Killer Tomatoes takes all the goodwill from the first film and smashes it like a fucking tomato. It's way too long for its plot and it keeps beating a dead horse by repeating the same jokes over and over again. The first film is awkwardly funny. This one's just painful to watch. Sure, it's meta, but it also sucks. How about a blowjob? Maybe iron your pants. No!